please review the post covid situation of the paper industry post covid uh, since all the uh, schools and colleges were closed i think a lot of these uh, writing and printing and copy of paper grades the white grade plants have been closed many of them have not reopened even after 2 years now i think the people with their own pulp uh, are doing much better and the white grade is picking up but during this time i think mostly it was the packaging grade and the tissue grade for the hygiene which mostly went on a higher scale but of late i see there is a kind of a raw material flux so the craft paper mills few of them are doing good and few of them are still struggling due to the variation in raw material board of course is doing well as always how much time the industry will take to return to the normalcy post covid uh see we are expecting it to go back to normalcy 2022 2023 this is yeah because white grade now since all these uh, i think the 12th boards and all have been conducted this year again so slowly if the schools start opening up and the colleges start running at full fledged i think this year we should be able to be back to normal what uh, new trends in paper manufacturing you had seen during the pandemic see yes what we saw is since uh, the in between there was a lot of uh, dump of pulp sheets from india into china there was a demand from there we saw even the news print machines and the writing and printing machines to be you know they were shifting to making craft but then again then that stopped and then again it was a kind of a over capacity which was built into the country and again it took it for a toss and yeah that is what has been going on in recent month the indian paper industry has faced the severe heat of waste paper crisis one of the director of the leading paper mill says that agro residue is the right choice to mitigate or eliminate the waste paper crisis how do you take this see waste paper has always been a cycle it has always been in ups and downs since uh, we also have waste paper grade uh, paper mills we have also gone to it's not just now it has been there for like it's not been this severe but it has always been there uh, agro based or wood based hardwood softwood whatever i mean when you have your own pulp it is always a safer bet but then again the investments for those kind of plants are much higher most of the indian paper mills are waste paper recycling based if any mill wants to shift to agro residue in this case do you offer any machine solution such as machine rebuild which is capable to make paper from agro residue of course of course yes see machine wise if you see for us uh, making it waste paper agro based or virgin pulp based is uh, we have the complete range so if you want a waste paper machine to be converted to a wood based snow issues because uh, example we have done such rebuilds in the past uh, itc pm7 machine was which initially came uh, into india was rebuilt by us and now they are running on uh, pulp apart from the itc any other plant where you have given new paper machine compatible with agro residue or rebuild the existing machine from waste paper to agro residue uh we have not so oh, any order see, we have answer. we have given a complete new line on agro base maybe example bindal murli agro like such mills we have given completely new agro new base line. machines especially bindal being 1000 meters per minute at 5 meters decal at pop so like i said conversion is not the issue paper machine the pulp street the back end the pulp mill is what you have to be careful with because uh, waste paper based and the wood based are there are slight differences in that see industry always welcome a product which is combination of engineering and technology so any such new product supplied by sarwal engineering works recently 
the currently we have uh, developed uh, quotas along with partnership with the uh, cola from the us okay so we have developed the coating sections for all the boat plants what is specialty of this uh, see, uh, specialty if you see we can compete uh, with all the big guys say umv uh, you can name it because all the blade quarters the uh, barrier coating the the entire range is available with cola who have tied up with us currently industry always evaluate the technology on two important parameters that are productivity and profitability how does servol meet their expectation see uh, with your products of course see this is something which we keep saying in the indian industry where uh, unfortunately few years back or say about 15 to 20 years back competition was equal in india whereas technology spoke a lot and uh, partnerships say example makino was one uh, makino was one uh, of course mr astros ruby mccon was one and sarwal was one here we spoke about technology we had tie ups with europeans and it was a good competition no? as of late we see a lot of dumping from um, of course china and uh, other low cost suppliers from india where the customers end of the day do not realize that efficiency of the machine the steam consumption the power consumption the end of the day the you know product quality which is given out of the machine is hampered because of initial uh, kind of uh, investment crutch quick money is never the solution in this if you see in a paper mill even if you stop a mill for 1 hour it is a loss of money yeah so but in our machines what we offer is you install once even from the third month onwards without doing any changes the uh, machine will definitely produce 10 to 20% more than the maximum capacity because our machines are over designed that way and then that goes on you needn't do anything with it for the next 20 years 30 years but now what we see customers set up a mill example one of the mills who, who we spoke to in morbi within the first year he had to invest the same price of a new machine into getting that new machine running again as you have just said that servol engineering has contracted with a us based company for supplying the coating technology to indian mills so tell us what market opportunity did you see which made you to come up in the contract see since we in a paper machine we have almost so this technology is already present i think in it's all it's already there but then again who are they depending on either it's from china slmc or it is from umv or foyt or andrids etc so from india there is nobody to do it and uh, as you know we have always been the pioneers in bringing in the tech make in india do it in india first so so we had a we have a tie up uh, with cola since we already have almost a complete range of the machine other than the shoe press that's only that's the only thing which is missing so we wanted to bring the quarter also into our portfolio so that we are only missing one part which is also under development actually speaking okay. industry welcomes the technology suppliers if they are well good in post sale service how does servol engineering manage the service call post sale see of course uh, it is not only about setting up the plant but is also the service after you set it up in which uh, we have placed our engineers across india and of course now the european office has also started where under mr david uh, we are having about 3 4 people who are experienced for the last 40 years in all these uh, in engineering design and service so this way we are reachable across the country and now across the globe as well what new products you are going to launch or have launched apart from the quarter the, the quarter is the one which is coming That's up okay. uh, yeah apart from, uh, apart from that there are a few products under development in the uk base but uh, once it is ready we will let you know as you know the paper industry is highly energy intensive some leading paper mills have committed to to reduce the energy consumption to 50% by 2030 how will servol engineering play an important role in fulfilling the commitment of the paper industry 
see of course uh, it is about how do you reduce energy consumption is a lot of factors in a paper machine especially where we expertise in uh, reduction in uh, the overall weights because where does energy come in it's basically moving the dynamic parts of the machine so we have to engineer them to optimize it the most and uh, also like uh, the pumps the motors the the amount of uh, energy which is required to uh, drive the machine overall in terms of your know, hydraulic flows through your head box etc so all this we are doing a continuous uh, research on this and trying to bring it down as much as possible yes what new paper mill plants supplied by Saval engineering works are coming up in coming time yes yes of course uh, there is one paper mill which uh, have uh, uh, gone with serval for complete they are just giving us the land inclusive of civil pulp mill electricals vacuums paper machine finishing house power plant everything is under serval scope being a very big project it is like setting up our own paper mill actually I may not be able to reveal who this is until and unless we are we have finished the project. Usually that is how we do it. Once we finish the project, you can all you can see it in our LinkedIn page as well. Many of the top paper mills for their technological products requirement, they prefer some international suppliers such as Walmart, Voith, Andutech, and others. Why domestic technology suppliers are not considered at par with the U.S. or European technology suppliers? To be very honest, uh, two of the big uh, paper mills uh, are already discussing with us, one for a complete rebuild and one for a complete new project. Uh, of course, the local, other, there is no other local supplier here, actually speaking, where you see, spoke about a few names. They make a certain parts of the machine and the rest of it from, is from China. And these big mills do not entertain such things, where we have the technology from headbox to the rewinder through various 50 years of collaboration with Europeans. So we do not stand in comparison with those people. But of course if you see we do have references in these big mills for complete lines. If you say JK, CPM, PM2 is a complete line by Serval, ITC, PM7, ITC, Kowai. Now we are discussing with one of the other big A grade mills for a board machine complete line. What growth of the paper industry do you see in next 5 years? Of course, it's going to be packaging and tissue. Worldwide, if you see the trend, even in the US, the white grade mills are getting converted to the brown grade mills. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sir, so, like, uh, just a minute of photo.